All right, Shalom. First off, want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And it's a Sid Salawam to all the Akim out here that's doing and pushing the work in truth and in sincerity. I want to go in this lesson on teaching, um, persuading, and, you know, trying to reach the elect. And basically, when brothers go out to teach on the streets or brothers do lessons, you know, we use a lot of figure of speech, okay? Which it says a word, the definition of it, um, a word or phrase used in a non-literal sense for rhetorical or vivid effect, okay? And... I'm going to go into the word rhetorical, okay? But um, let me look up this word vivid, okay? The definition to the word vivid is producing powerful feelings or strong, clear images in the mind, okay? So when we uh, bring out the scriptures, okay, which the scriptures is the, the foundation, it's our job to teach and 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 well use the signs that's one 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 reason why the signs are there okay um it's our job to teach and make this well this truth is uh realistic okay this truth is is real okay but is the 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 um the synonyms for the word vivid okay it says graphic um, ev evocative, realistic, lifelike, faithful, authentic, clear, detailed. You know, we, we, we tell, we go into details on, on, on a lot of things, okay? And, and make this, this truth as clear as we can possibly make it, okay? All through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem Shah. okay? So, we, we we try to produce okay these images which some some of the the, the pictures are, are there you know for for people to get okay but we we try to paint this picture okay so that people can see it you know the salvation of the elect the fact that America is going to be destroyed okay and we use figure of speech to do that okay now um going into the word um figure of speech um examples it says a figure of speech is a word or phrase that has a meaning something different than its literal meaning which the scriptures have a lot of uh um you know uh the, the scriptures are written in parables and stuff like that you know it says it could be a metaphor or simile that is designed to further explain a concept or it can be a different way of pronouncing a word or phrase such as alliteration to give further meaning or a different sound and that's one reason why you know brothers go into the different meanings of words okay was you could go into one word in the Bible and that one word can lead you to, to, to other things. Okay? So the the a part of teaching or a good part of teaching and reaching people is knowing how to break down words. To use it in a in a in a way that other people who may not, who may not have heard that word before can understand it okay so it's it's that's our job to try to persuade as many as many people as we can you know which the the, the elect is going to get it uh either way okay so we have to um 
go what different brothers got different um ways of of speaking you know but often many times you're going to see brothers breaking down the scriptures in a way of uh explaining it you know um in 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 a further detail okay now um it says rhetoric okay the art of effective or persuasive speaking or writing you know and, and we have the writings here in the scriptures okay which are, are very persuasive okay which I'm going to go into the word persuasive and I'm gonna uh, look up you know the definition in the uh, scriptures the action or fact I mean or fact of persuading someone or of being persuaded to do or believe something um, coaxing persuading coercing inducement convincing blandishment encouragement urging you know enticement and and you know all of these words you could you know go into the scriptures and you can um you know look look these words up like the word entice look up the word persuade and see how you can use those words to further break down the scriptures okay it says philosophy you know just for for one uh for one um synonym of the word persuasive persuasion okay so we're trying to persuade as many people as we can when we go out there. And a lot of people are going to um, get mad or they're going to just walk by and not accept it. That's just the way things are. Um, the art of effective or persuasive speaking or writing, especially the use of figures of speech and other comp compositional techniques eloquence command of language way with words and we supposed to have a way with words okay that's that's one of the the, the uh things that you know great millstone do you know we go into uh words you know there's so many different uh, this truth is is extremely deep okay and we're not saying that to to, to to go deep and try to put yourself on some type of a level you know you're supposed to grow in this thing but a way with words is important okay but one example is when people walk by you know as the scriptures say which i'm gonna uh, get it okay um jeremiah uh 16 verse 16 Behold, I will send for many fishers, saith the Lord, and they shall fish them. Okay? And when we go out and, and we uh, speak, you know, we try to bait people in to having uh, um, discourse or, or listening to this word. Okay? Um, and, a, and a lot of people who... who mainly want to 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 debate sometimes it always end up being edomites the so-called white man okay or or we tell people about um the wickedness that they're that that they do you know and it's all to, to edify okay when we when 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 brothers put up videos or make posts about anything more more often than not we're trying to reach other people and teach other people so that when people inquire they can see like okay i see what you're what you mean by that okay and that's one of the the, the things that we're trying to do so that you know is where um is where speaking okay people can can come into it and that's one 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 thing with with um like the alpha and omega ministries when um 
Dr. James White, the Edomite, and um, I forgot the, the, the guy's name, you know, but he's uh, irrelevant, you know. Um, when they was bringing out stuff to try to attack the doctrine, you know, we, we at Great Millstone was bringing out, you know, different points. Brothers was bringing out different points to try to reach the elect, okay? To try to sharpen other brothers, you know, these these coffers and, and people that don't believe, you know, they they help us out, you know? Because we're the ones with the truth. And and when they come up and they say crazy things, that even furthers us to, to, to bring out even more more truth. How about Shimmy Osai's making his his um his men um known throughout the world? Okay, so we go out there and we fish and we try to bait people in, okay? And we let them know what's going to happen in their society. Second Corinthians 5 and 10. For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Yahweh Shah, that everyone may receive the things done in his body according to that he hath done, whether it be good or bad. Knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, which the Lord is going to destroy a lot of people, man. Okay, the Lord can 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 kill you in any, any way he, he deems necessary. Okay, knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, and we 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 have a a pretty good idea of what the terror of the Lord is. Not only through um, examples of like the tsunamis and stuff like that that happens in the world. Okay, but also through the scriptures, the people that that don't make the most out of their strength. Okay. So we, we understand the terror of the Lord, the, the, the fact that the Lord destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah, okay, which was basically the LGBT community. And, and, and we let people know that that are a part of the LGBT, that if you don't repent, that you're going to get destroyed. We let people know that repentance, you know, you must repent because the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Okay. It says, we persuade men. Knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. Okay? Now, going into the word persuade. Okay, persuade, trust, obey, have confidence, believe, be confident. Persuade to induce one by words to believe. Okay? We, we're trying to, to sow... Our, our people what to believe in the right way okay this is the this is the standard for the so-called negroes latinos and native americans you know the the 12 children of israel okay this is the standard great millstone we set the standard okay the the, the real men of the lord okay so if you if you believe that you you are a man of the Lord. You have to you have to question and look through the scriptures to see whether you're really doing what the men of, in the Bible um, actually did. Like when times get hard, are you are you freezing up? Or do you have faith in y'all about seeing y'all aside? Okay, how are you proving it? Are you making full proof of your ministry? Are you putting up videos? Are you going out? You know, are you being diligent? Are you being patient? It says to make friends of. To win one's favor, gain one's goodwill, or to seek to win one, strive to please one. You know? And when we go out there, you know, we 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 seek to, to try to gain the favor of of the people, not to to to, to um to, to go out there to, to, to be men pleasers and stuff like that, you know. But we might have somebody that that might be of the elect you know that might might sit up there and say oh y'all y'all really are men of the lord man i see how y'all get down you know y'all keeping it real like yeah i want to i want to i want to learn and i, I want to learn more and i want to grow you know the scripture says one man esteems one one day uh more than the next you know just to, to paraphrase one man gonna look at another day you know different than another man Okay, so we're out there to try to try to reach the elect in, in, in many different ways, which is the, the elect is going to get it. 
Okay, it says to twank, tranquilize, to persuade onto, i.e. move or induce one to persuasion to do something. You know, stop uh, being homosexuals or stop uh, sleeping with the next man, woman, and, you know, start calling on the name of the Lord. Okay, which a lot of these people out here, like, that know that they're Israel, are, are you know, they're not really doing what the scriptures say. Okay? Be persuaded to be persuaded to suffer oneself to be persuaded to believe, I mean, to be induced to believe, to have faith in a thing. And a lot of our people don't have faith. And we saw them what the faith is. They don't know what to believe in. Okay, it says to believe, to be persuaded of a thing concerning a person, to listen to, obey, yield to, comply with, to trust, have confidence, be confident. Okay? And and the, the condition that our people are in, man, before this truth, and we all was a part of it too, you know, but the condition that our people was in, the mindset they was that they was in, it's hard to have confidence, man. The fact that um a lot of us had the vibration of, of, of our mother or, or this world on us and, and and that 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 stuff takes time to get off. Okay? Now the men of the Lord aren't gonna bullshit, they're gonna they're gonna come into this thing and they're going they're gonna know that it's the truth and they're gonna follow the Lord straight way. Okay. Um knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men be, but we are ma made manifest unto Yahweh Basim Yahushah, and I trust also are made manifest in your consciences. Second Corinthians seven two and seventeen, for we are not um, as many which corrupt the word of Yahweh Basim Yahushah. Which you have a lot of people out here that do that, you know, just want to speak the the smooth things, you know. It says, but as of sincerity. Which we we are sincere, you know. It, that's why when when brothers open up, you know, brothers send a salute to the to the ones that that are preaching this truth and truth and sincerity. Okay. Not the ones that are that are corrupt, you know, niggas that 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 want the Lord to just destroy everybody, you know. Don't don't give a fuck who who you are, okay. You 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 got guys out here that that would would try to corrupt the the the, the elect if they could, okay. Because they don't have that understanding of what's really, um, going on. It says, but as of God, Yahweh by Shem Yahushai, in the sight of Yahweh speak we in Yahweh Shai. And if Yahweh Shai came and just spoke whatever the heck he wanted to, okay, he would the Lord would have would have would have he wouldn't have used them. You know, when Yahweh Shah came, he spake the words that Yahweh wanted him to speak. And that's what, what, what we do when we go out. We speak, we're supposed to be speaking the words that Yahweh Shah wants us to speak. Okay? Galatians um, 1 and 10. For do I now persuade men, you know, or Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah? Or do I seek to please men? Which we don't go out there to try to, you know, please men and stuff like that. For if I yet please men, I should not be the servant of Yahweh or Yahweh Shah. You know, and that's what we are. Yahweh Shah told us what we're supposed to be doing, what we're supposed to be saying, who, how we're supposed to say it. Okay? Not the fact that, okay, you know, like, like a lot of people sit up there and look at us like, Oh, GMS are rapists and stuff like that, which we're not rapists, man. But we, we go out there and we teach the, the truth in the scriptures, okay? That rape is in the scriptures, you know? And I'm not going to go into that in this lesson, but you can go look, go go Google that, you know? Go look up the videos, okay? But we, we go out there and we do what the Lord said to do, not to please men, not to, 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 to even please other men in Great Millstone. Okay? We go out there to please Yahweh Basim Yahweh Shah. Okay? Which that's what it's really for. Colossians 4 and 5. Walk in wisdom towards them that are without. Okay? The, the, the fact that you see a lot of our people walking by, they don't have the wisdom that, that we have. 
and we know that we used to be like them okay and 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 it's our job to try to break this these scriptures down in a way that they can get it that the the, the that the average joe which the lord ain't dealing with the the, the average joe you know that want to want to live in, in america and love this place okay but the the just to use that as an example the average person that's walking down the street you know you might be able to, to look at you know speak uh the word and and it might be able to reach that person okay redeeming the time let your speech be always with grace seasoned with salt that you may know how you ought to answer every man okay so when you go out there you better know what you're speaking you better know what you're saying you better be confident in what you're saying okay and 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 try to reach the the elect okay i'm gonna get this last scripture uh second timothy 2 and 23 but foolish and unlearned questions avoid okay we're out there trying to persuade people and you got people that's that come up and they ask uh dumb questions okay knowing that they do gender stripes you know, because we we you we, we're saying these words in a in a um in a manner that not many people are gonna gonna get it. You know, many people are gonna be offended. Okay, and and when when those people do get offended, sometimes they ask these foolish or unlearned questions, and we have to avoid them because they. It, that's just going to bring even more confusion okay and that's that 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 knowing when to avoid those questions okay that's when that that um you know it says walk with wisdom towards them that are without you know so it's a wise thing to not answer those people that that have dumb questions and the servant of the lord must not strive but be gentle unto all men, you know, all men, because that's what we're trying to do, man. If we was out there fighting and shit like that, man, you know, we'd be getting killed. You know, we'd be getting getting destroyed, man. But we're not out there uh, in a carnal manner. We not we not out here to, to try to fight anybody, man. The, the scripture says that the the uh, weapons of our warfare are not carnal. Okay. We just teaching this this word, teaching this truth. And if you don't want to get it, then you don't want to get it. It says, but be gentle unto all men. Apt to teach. Patient. You got to be patient when you're trying to persuade somebody. Okay. And meekness. Instructing those that oppose themselves. If y'all by some y'all aside per adventure will give them repentance to the acknowledging of the truth. And that you may recover them, and, and that they may recover themselves out of the snare of the devil, who have take who are taken captive by him at his will. Okay, and the so-called white man done deceived our people. Man, our people are so far gone, man. You know, the scripture says that the, the deceived and the deceiver are his, which that's talking about Yah by Simi Yahushua. You know. The, 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 he, he controls the people that are deceiving and he controls the people that are deceived okay but we don't know whether or not that person that we're speaking to might end up getting it or not you know so we have to be patient and we have to try to continue to persuade people because we know that if we don't do it the Lord going to destroy us you know and, and, and that could be used as a tool to try to go out there and speak you know because the lord is going to put the words in your mouth as you speak anyway okay but with that man hopefully this was an edifying lesson i want to say salawam till next time